Snow can be a lot of fun. You can build a snowman or have a snowball fight. Sometimes school is even canceled. But snow can also be dangerous. When strong winds blow falling snow around or too much snow builds up, it becomes unsafe. These dangerous snowstorms are called blizzards. But what's the difference between a regular snow day and a blizzard? According to the National Weather Service, a snowstorm becomes a blizzard under two conditions. First, the wind must be blowing at least 35 miles per hour. Also, visibility must be reduced to just a quarter of a mile or less. Visibility means how well you can see. During a blizzard, you can only see a quarter of a mile ahead of you. On a clear day, humans can see for several miles. Some blizzards are much more intense, with winds up to 120 miles per hour. Strong winds can knock down power lines, leaving people without heat in very cold conditions. All the snow blowing around can make visibility impossible. This is called a whiteout. During a bad whiteout, people become confused. All they can see is white. They can't tell what's the sky and what's the ground. Drivers can't see the road and may crash their cars. All it takes is wind to turn a peaceful snow day into a raging blizzard. These winds form when warm air from near the equator mixes with cold air from the Arctic. The warm air rises because it's less dense. As it does, the denser cold air rushes in to take its place. If snow is falling, the movement of air can create a blizzard. Some blizzards happen when snow already on the ground is blown around by the wind. This type of blizzard is called a ground blizzard. Blizzards mostly happen in places near the Arctic, like Asia, Europe, Canada, and even the United States. They usually happen in winter when temperatures are colder. Meteorologists warn people when a blizzard is coming so they can prepare. Listen to weather reports so you know what to expect. Stock up on food and water in case you become trapped inside your house. Have battery-powered flashlights and radios, firewood, or a gas heater in case the power goes out. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.